Today we will be testing a 5 minute scalping strategy. Who am I? I am DP Roberts and for years I've been testing hundreds of strategies and indicators. And I'm testing more every single day. I've compiled all that information into spreadsheets and used it to create a profitable trading strategy with a custom indicator. And we have an amazing community over on Discord where we help you become a profitable trader. If you are interested in getting access to the spreadsheets of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested, as well as a free trial to our custom indicator, you can just sign up for our Patreon down below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing a five minute scalping strategy. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 277 different strategies with 85 of them being winners. The best one so far was able to achieve an 87% win rate. That was achieved using the Academy of Forex Indicator. And so far since we've been keeping track, it has outperformed 167 of the other strategies that we have put it up against every single one so far. We've also tested a total of 1,005 indicators with 422 of them being winners. All right, as I said, today we will be testing a five minute scalping strategy. And so the source video says this new indicator gives exact reversal signals the most accurate ever. And so of course, we're going to put that to the test. Now, no indicator, no strategy is going to be exact or 100% all the time. We know that already. So immediately the claims in the source video, little bit suspicious. Um, and as far as the most accurate ever, eh, probably uh not quite accurate as well but still we'll go ahead and test this to see if we can get some profitability out of it so let's go ahead and turn off those two indicators the first indicator we will add to the screen is going to be the rsiatr range this one right here go ahead and click on that and add it to the screen and what we're going to do is go up here and we're going to click on the horizontal line tool and right there and what we're going to do is we are going to set that at the let me get rid of that one uh we're going to set that at the 0 0.200 mark now keep in mind that uh forex pairs and different uh assets like crypto or even different forex pairs one to another these numbers are going to change right here because of the volatility um, of those particular pairs and how that volatility in each particular pair is kind of unique. And so right off, there's kind of an issue with this strategy, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad strategy. And so the source video basically said that they just kind of scrolled back and looked at kind of the average and what you're looking for. It's going to be the spikes like this right here. Let me go ahead and delete some of these lines so that way you can kind of see like so. Okay, so you can see these spikes right here. And they said that you want to try to catch the abnormally large spikes while these smaller spikes like so kind of ignored. And so that was the kind of idea behind where to put the line. And so in this particular uh, this particular case on the five minute time frame on the Great Britain pound versus the Japanese yen, I set it at a 0 0.200 mark. Okay, so now that that is said, let's go ahead and move on to the next indicator. And that's going to be the Andean oscillator. This one right here. Go ahead and click on that and add it to the screen. We're going to jump into the settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the bullish component to a more vibrant green. It's up to you if you want to do this. You don't necessarily have to. But go ahead and bump up the line weight at least so that way it's a tad bit easier to see. Under the bearish component, we're going to do the same thing. Change it to a more vibrant red if you wish, but bump up the line weight. So again, it's a tad bit easier to see in contrast to the smaller orange line. And so for a long trade, what we were looking for is we were looking for when we get a spike from the RSI ATR range indicator like this right here, the spike above the purple line that we set at the 
zero zero mark and then what we are looking for is we are looking for when the andean oscillator uh, shows signs of weakness in the trend so right now there's a downtrend because we are looking for a long trade so this is a reversal so we're looking for a reversal of the downtrend to an uptrend and so what we're looking for is when the andean oscillator starts to cross back down below the orange line so you can see right here that it's above the orange line you see that we get the spike right here above the purple line that we're looking for there and then you can see right here it's kind of hard to see but uh, the red line crosses back down below the orange line showing that the downtrend is starting to slow down and possibly reverse if you uh, need to know where the uh, Andean oscillator lines are if you hover over this bar right here and then look at these number coordinates right here above my mouse when I hover over this bar right here you can see that the uh, number coordinate there for the red line is 0.411 and the orange line is at 0.416 meaning that the red line is below that orange line and so it's at this point that we would then enter into a long trade we're going to set our trade right here I'm going to put a stop just right below this pivot and target a 1 to 1 1.5 risk reward right about there let's play this forward and see how it plays out all right so you see it dips a couple times getting close to the stop but then eventually it makes this push to the upside getting us to our take profit and for a short trade what we're looking for again so we're looking for the spike from the rsi atr indicator above the purple line that we've set right here when we get that spike above we are then going to look down to the andean oscillator and we want to wait until it starts showing a sign of weakness in the uptrend in this case again we're looking for a short so we're looking for a reversal to the downside from this uptrend and so just like before we get the spike right here and the andean oscillator line right here again if i hover over this particular bar right here you can see now that the numbers here above my mouse you can see now the green line is at 0 0.475 and the orange line is at 0 0.476 meaning the or uh the orange line is slightly higher than that green line and so it's at this point that the green line is crossed down below that orange showing that weakness that we're looking for and a sign of reversal so we're going to set our trade right here we're going to put a stop just right above the swing right here and we're going to target that same 1 to 1 1.5 risk reward now the good part about a reversal trade is that you can set these really really tight stops and therefore uh, very minimal risk and in this case we're still risking the 1 to 1 1.5 but you could easily increase this take profit uh, quite a bit from here but let's go ahead and play this for just a little bit and you can see the very next candle we would have come down hit our take profit once again all right so that puts us at the end of the testing right there before we take a look at what this was able to achieve if you are interested in a profitable trading strategy i highly recommend you check out the best strategy that we have tested so far on the channel has been able to maintain consistently in the mid 80 percent win rate in the upper corner you will find a link to the video where you can view the strategy we'll also put a thumbnail up of the video on screen now and i will also link to it at the end of this video with that same thumbnail all right let's go ahead and go over the numbers on the strategy so we did the 50 trades test like we normally do out of those 50 trades we've got 11 winning trades and 39 losing trades putting it at a 22 percent win rate if you are looking to gain $600 per winning trade at the 1 to 1.5 risk reward, total gain would have been $6,600. On the losing side, you would have been risking $400 per losing trade. Your total drawdown would have been $15,600 for an overall loss of $9,000 altogether. So definitely not a great strategy. It was a very confusing strategy. Something about it seemed like it was just fighting the whole way, uh, fighting against you. It's just really weird. They didn't. It doesn't feel 
like a good strategy. I know that sounds weird, but you can see in the result, obviously it wasn't that great of a strategy. The signals were very far and few between and just very sloppy setup and some things that um, just, you know, were hard to set in stone, like where you set this line is just kind of, uh, yeah, not great. And so compare that to the Academy of Forks Indicator during the same period of time. We did 92 trades altogether. We had 75 winning trades and 17 losing trades, putting it at an 81% win rate. If you're looking to gain that same $600 per winning trade, your total gain would have been $45,000 altogether. On the losing side, you'd have lost $20,400, but an overall gain of $24,600 altogether and significantly better results. If you're interested in the Academy of Forex Indicator, you can get a free trial when you sign up for our Patreon down below. Once the free trial is over, it's only $15 a month to maintain access to the indicator. You do have to maintain your Patreon status, but still super cheap for a profitable, efficient trading system. All right, let's go ahead and go over the weekly signals. So this is using the Academy of Forex Indicator on these four Forex pairs and this one crypto coin. This is on the 30 minute time frame. Each week we are keeping track of the trades the Academy of Forex Indicator has signaled. And so this last week on the Forex pairs, we had 12 trades altogether, seven winning trades and five losing trades, putting it at a 58% win rate and would have been a gain of $450. On the crypto coin, we had four trades altogether, four winning 100% win rate and a gain of 2,400. For the week, that would have put us up 2,850. At the 26 week total, now we would have been up $42,610 over 204 trades. And you can see more stats on the strategy here and the growth of the equity there. So good stuff from the Academy of Forks Indicator. All right, that's it for the strategy here. We're going to put this one on the no list and move on to the next video from here.